So Kenya, oh man, they make quick work of South Sudan. So the Kenya Lioness team uh, just came out and, you know, just flat out dominated the South Sudanese squad. I mean, Victoria Reynolds led the charge. She had a plus 23 efficiency, 17 points, eight rebounds, four assists, four steals. I mean, it was just it was just an over, overall great game. Kenya 80, South Sudan 51. Let's just talk about this. I mean, in the in the rebounds category, I mean, it was just flat out domination, especially in points in the paint. As Kenya scored like 46 points in the paint, uh, for there was a situation where all the uh, baskets Kenya are getting, like they were just scoring inside, especially in the transition, capitalizing on them steals. And uh, they racked up seven, 70 rebounds. I mean, not seven, <laughs> 70 rebounds. I mean, 39 defensive boards and 31 offensive boards. I mean, that's, in this game, South Sudan just didn't have it. They just didn't have any uh, answer, especially uh, in, in regards to like defending inside. So it was just easy work. And, you know, Kenya was able to feast inside us. The Lioness were able to feast inside there. And at no point was this game close. Uh, there, was, there were just flashes of uh, a blowout all the way from the first quarter. The way the first quarter ended, it was uh, 21 15. And the way uh, Kenya was just relentless, especially uh, playing some, you know, uh, airtight D. Uh, they just managed to pull away, especially in the second half. As At, the, at some point, the ball wasn't just falling. Shots went falling for the South Sudanese side. Uh, the captain went down and um, it was just all downhill. But looking at the way uh, uh, Kenya sh played, and especially shooting-wise, uh, it was an improvement from the Rwanda game and uh, the Ugandan game, which, you know, shooting-wise, they were not able to get their shots off. But this was just primarily because um, they were able to uh, capitalize on getting the ball at the right place at the right time especially in mid-range i mean kenya is really struggling from the three ball uh not many uh, good uh shooters inside there but capitalizing and getting the ball inside the paint was one thing that was mandatory especially if you are if you are having like those opportunities so uh kenya they kenya on two point field goals 41 percent shooting from two point field goals three point field goals uh 27 percent and in the line i mean uh we just need to get to get in the line because it's 62.5 percent but overall field goal shooting for kenya 37 percent and um even going even into the key stats you could see in steals kenya was good in steals and those steals were yielding the second chance points you can even see points from turnovers they are forcing the other team to get them turnovers uh, although uh kenya was forcing uh south sudan to get the to you know commit turnovers we are also committing turnovers ourselves as we are almost tied in turnovers with south sudan so just to check on that and one thing that was really alarming was our foul rate south sudan didn't foul the ball as much uh kenya fouled 17 times okay they got two blocks and also dished out 20 assists i mean the assists uh, were pretty much falling and dominate and we dominated this game for 39 total minutes so and ended this game in a 30, 30 plus point block 31 to be specific so i mean the this the squad just was clicking especially on all cylinders we had two players who uh came in and had double double figures you had medina court 20 minutes played 11 points um 18 total rebounds she had 12 uh defense rebounds six offensive uh but the turnover bug was really really um something that you need to take care of especially you know getting that ball i saw in a couple of i saw in a possession like uh she grabbed the ball she whistle she was whistle like uh travel and uh, maybe work on that a bit but anyway she was pretty pretty good especially inside 5 11, 11 shooting on 45 percent shooting from the field marcy wanyama 20 minutes uh, played 14 points, 50% shooting from the field. She, was, she racked up seven rebounds. And Christina Kinney, Christina Kinney actually played pretty well. Um, 27 minutes played, 17 points, 47% shooting from the field. Uh, 12 uh, total rebounds. She she was coming up clutch, especially on getting them second chance points. But Victoria Reynolds, 29 minutes played. She actually played heavy minutes. Of all the players that were on the squad, 
I mean, at the time, she played 29 total minutes, 17 points, 43% shooting from the field, and she also had eight rebounds, four assists, and four steals. She was especially active on the defensive side, and she had a plus one for plus 22. And looking at the way uh, Kenya looked against South Sudan, you could just see like they were just picking up the pointers from the Ugandan game, from the Rwandan game, and just trying to, you know, uh, iterate and fix things the way uh, they're supposed to be. Uh, I can see a situation where you can win games and you're not able to like um, fix fix some, some areas, but I just saw like uh, the win back the drawing board. I'm not sure if you watched the film, but uh, looking at... Uh, yesterday's film against Rwanda and the day before like in the, in the day one against uh, Uganda you could see they tried to commit less uh, mistakes as they as they were in the previous games despite on a, even winning all those games but looking at it I'm pretty much confident in, to say like uh, even coming to meet Egypt again uh, you know because the Egypt they're, they're a team that um, has just blew out uh, Ronda brutally. I mean, they even had a 100-point game. They had to watch for that. So uh, hopefully uh, Kenya doesn't turn over the ball as much because I saw like the, the turnover bug. Even having fouls and turnovers and winning the game and, and, and having them in high volume is actually pretty detrimental because when you face a team that you know has a good defense and is able to take away like transitional offense, kind of be able to you you're gonna struggle a bit so hopefully they will be make that adjustment because um i expect to you know uh, at least we go for you know to be able to you know punch our ticket to the afro basket so it'll be pretty much exciting i'll be looking forward to it the game is scheduled for tomorrow and um i'll be also coming down with uh kenya versus uh ronda just break down just to talk about it but looking at um the way uh the lioness team played pretty much uh doesn't doesn't like um guarantee me that we're gonna win tomorrow's game but given the trajectory it does that was before but after this game i feel like we can even have that uh one two punch in the squad that can be able to get us over the edge because if a team makes a mistake like the way south sudan made a mistake they made those offensive and defensive mistakes you can see kenya just knew how to capitalize hopefully um the, the Lioness score, they just come up with like an offensive, you know, uh, just a good offensive and defensive, you know, uh, way that they can be able to, you know, curtail Egypt because Egypt, they're not coming here to mess around. So hopefully we will get, get past them and go 4 0 because right now, just unbeaten, uh, there's no team that uh, uh, is unbeaten, it's only Kenya and sure fire team that can be able to, you know, uh, win it all tomorrow so um yeah i'll be looking forward to it if you guys like the video like the video make sure to leave your feedback down in the comment section down below and what you think about uh the lioness team what you think about this tournament and what are our chances of you know uh winning against egypt because man that's a very important game and um pretty much looking forward to it so um i'm out peace